Today we're going to remix several different Atmos FX videos and we're going to layer them all together to make something kind of totally new. Uh, and we're going to do everything in the free version of HitFilm Express as usual. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the HitFilm Express here and get that going. And in the upper left hand corner I'm going to click on the new button. And I don't really care what these settings are because when we bring in our Atmos FX videos, uh, we are uh, going to change the settings to whatever those are. So I'm just going to click OK on that. And by the way, this effect works for any Atmos FX video that has a black background. Now you could do something very similar if it had a green background or the, from a different company or something like that. Uh, so it doesn't have to be an Atmos FX video, but that's the examples I'm going to be using today. So now that we've got HitFilm Express going, uh, let's come over here and make sure we're in our Media tab and click on the Import button. And here are the three videos we're going to mix together. I've got this uh, pop-up scare from Bone Chillers 1. I uh, like the uh, dungeon background, let's say from Bone Chillers 2. And then they have a uh, like a, a, a fantasy fire effect. Uh, and I'm going to add that on top of all three of those. So we're going to kind of create a sandwich here with the uh, dungeon in the background, then our uh, pop-up skeleton, and then a raging fire on top of the skeleton, even on top of that. Kind of making like a picture frame effect around him. So I'm going to make sure all of these are selected. You can uh, hold down the, uh, your uh, control key and select each one and make sure they're all highlighted. And then I'm just going to click open and it's going to bring them all in here. And so we got our all of our different videos are in. So now let's go ahead and put them on the timeline. And just to make this a little bit easier, since I know that I'm going to create three layers, I'm going to come over here and click on uh, video one here. Make sure your mouse is over this video one area. And I'm going to right click and it's going to say insert track. And now it's made video two. If I come up here in video two and I right click and I say insert track, it's going to make a video three. So now we have video one, two, and three now. Uh, video one is kind of scrolled off the bottom, and if you but if you come over here to your right hand side, right here, there's a little scroll bar, and you can kind of scroll around. Even better, if you kind of come between the video section and the audio section, your mouse will change into this little double bar thing. And if I hold down my left mouse button and drag down, I can make more room for the video ones, and that's exactly what I want to do, so I can see everything that I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started layering our videos. Uh, the very first one I want is this uh, dungeon background. Let's say I got a dungeon theme going on, and I don't like the backgrounds from the original uh, Bone Chillers, uh, so I'm using this one from Bone Chillers 2, uh, while my first video is from Bone Chillers 1. So I'm going to click on this guy and I'm going to drag him in and he's going to go into video 1. Make sure you're snapped all the way over here to the left, it'll pop you right over there, and just let go. So now we've got our background. Now let's throw on our spooky pop-up skeleton. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over him and I'm going to drag him in. And I'm going to make sure again I'm uh, snapping over here onto video 2 this time and let go. Alright, and if we kind of scroll through here, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over this little top bar. I'm going to scroll through, there he is. But unfortunately we can't see our dungeon background. So we need to fix that. And the way we're going to fix that is we're going to come over here to Effects, which is right next to the Media uh, tab. And I'm going to search for my uh, favorite one here for black videos, which is Demult, D-E-M-U-L-T. And right down there under Keen is Demult. Of course, you could have scrolled through the list and found it too, but searching is a whole lot easier. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over Demult. I'm going to drag it and put it over my skeleton video here. And that makes all the black part of that video transparent. And now we can see the dungeon below it. So that's pretty cool here. Uh, but we've got a problem though. If we keep on scrolling through here, and you know, our uh, uh, spooky skeleton pops up and he yells, and then he's got, oh, but then our background ends. And that's because this uh, dungeon background video is not as long as our skeleton video. Well, that's really no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to the Media tab here, uh, and I'm just going to grab another copy, and I can just drag another copy of our Dungeon video, and just pop it again right up next to it. You don't want it over here somewhere. Right up next to it. And now, all of a sudden, we've got one continual video there. And in fact, now the uh, Dungeon videos are a little bit longer than the uh, skeleton video and we're going to take care of that here in just a minute but we got one more thing to add and that is our spooky scary fire so i'm going to grab this purple fire here 
and I can hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to put it on video three and drop it up there. And here we go. So now we got the fire, and but oh, we can't see through it. So what do we do? Well, we go to our effects to demult. We drop the demult on there, and now we can see the fire and the skeleton and the background there, the dungeon background that we got, which is pretty good. But uh, a couple things here. I don't like the way the fire is. It's too big, basically. It's like covering up our skeleton a lot, like in this one right here. You can barely see him. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make sure you have your fire selected. So click on that, make sure it turns out uh, orange. And then I'm going to come over here and you notice where it's popped over the control panel automatically. Now, if for some reason you're not over there, just click on controls. And then I'm going to come down here to scale. And we've got two numbers. And again, if you hold down your left mouse button over either one of these numbers and you scroll left or right, it will change them. So I'm going to do it over here on the left side here. And let's kind of just see what happens here. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to scroll to the left. Well, it makes it smaller, but if I scroll to the right, hey, kind of makes it bigger. Maybe just kind of get it to just kind of barely peeping around the edge there so we can see a lot more of our skeleton. So basically what I've done is I've made our purple fire bigger so not so much of it shows up in the, the, uh, the resulting ending video that we're actually going to create here. So there we go. So that's a little bit, little bit better. Uh, you know, you could even, if you wanted to, come over here to the skeleton, click on him, and maybe scale him up a little bit, make him a little bit bigger. And of course, you might have to uh, move him up a little bit. And you can do that over here if you wanted to. I can move over here and click on this little dot, and I can drag him up if I wanted to. Not too far. You don't want him up here. You want him to pop out of the ground, remember. And you can even move him left or right a little bit if he'd like. So, you know, but I'm just going to center him up more or less. We make it a little bit bigger. Now, don't scale him up too big because he'll start looking pixely and terrible if you, if you did that. But, you know, 10 or 20 percent you can get by with pretty, uh, you know, pretty easy on these. And so now we kind of, you know, kind of scroll through here and kind of see how our, uh, our uh, skeleton is looking. It's all looking pretty good. All right. But I'm going to do one more thing just to get a little bit fancier. You know, if we had actual fire here in this room, that background would be a little bit brighter than that, right? And so let's try and brighten up that uh, background here, our dungeon background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on our dungeon background video. Now remember we have two, right? We, got, we added another one, but I'm just going to click on the first one for now. And then I'm going to come over to effects and then I'm going to search for contrast and we are going to find uh, brightness and contrast. Could have also searched for brightness. Uh, and I'm going to drag that by holding down my left mouse button over to our first background video here, our dungeons. And when I drop it on there, notice we switches over to controls for us again. And now we're sitting over here with our brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to turn those up a little bit and you know, see how it looks, basically. Uh, maybe uh, crank up the contrast, maybe crank up the brightness. Something like that. Just kind of play around with it till you, till you like the effect. You don't want it too bright, but you don't also don't want it too dim. And by the way, if you want to see what it looks like without these turned up, notice that little checkbox right there? If I click on that, it'll turn it off and turn it on. So that's pretty subtle, but we've added a little bit of brightness. You know, I might crank that up quite a bit more here and see if we can kind of get it even to pop a little bit, little bit more. So uh, let's try that one. Oh, that, I like that a lot better. Okay, so that's a little bit more like a fire lit room. All right, so now we've got that fixed. Now, of course, we have two of these, remember? So if I scroll through my video to the next video of the background, you know, ooh, all of a sudden it goes darker again, right? Uh, so what we need to do is we need to set up this contrast and brightness on the second video, too. Well, there's a real easy way of doing that. I'm just going to click on it over here so it's highlighted, brightness and contrast. I'm just going to right-click and go to Copy. And then I'm going to click on our second video, and it's going to right click, and I'm going to go to paste, which is control V. You could also have done that, and boom. Now, both of our videos have the exact same settings, so we didn't have to like try to manually type them in or anything like that. So now we're in pretty good shape, except our videos are all of these different links, right? The fire video is really long. Uh, skeleton video is kind of our main feature here. That's the one we really want to match. And then we have these uh, two, uh, you know, uh, background videos, which really don't do a whole lot. 
but we want to uh, you know kind of trim everything up so they're all even. So what I recommend is you come down here to this lower area here where we have the two little mountains, the little mountain and the and the big mountain, and you can go grab a hold of that dot and you can look your left mouse button and you can drag it to the right, and this will expand out everything so I can zoom in and see my timeline better. This again doesn't change the way the video works, this lets you just see things over here a little bit easier. And then I'm going to grab this bar and it's going to go to the very end of my skeleton video right there. And then we are going to cut this guy and this guy. Now don't forget this is the audio for this guy that matches them up so they kind of go as pairs. Uh, so the way you cut stuff is with this little razor blade right over here. It's called the slice tool and you can either press C or you can click on the slice tool just like I did. And then all you got to do is just come right over here. Notice my line turns red when I get close to it. And if I click when it's red, it's going to cut right there. So I cut the uh, fire and I'm going to cut the second buffer video down here. And now we've got these two cut out. Now we just need to get rid of them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to reselect my arrow. That was the one that was uh, selected before and it's called the selection tool. You can also press V to get over there really quickly and just do it that way. Uh, and then I'm going to click on this extra video out here and I'm just going to use my delete key and delete. And I'm going to select on this guy. Remember, it also selects the audio for it too. Uh, and I can hit the delete key or of course if you want to, you can right click right and then you can go up here to remove which is also the delete key and now got them trimmed up here and they should all be about the same same length there uh, now we have one other problem though if we actually listen to this uh, what happens is is HitFilm has added the sound of the skeleton and the sound of the fire uh, all into the same you know sound file basically and uh, same video and that might be kind of loud actually uh, and so we probably want to hear the skeleton more than the fire uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, come over here and I'm going to scroll down through my audio here with this little guy over here on the right and I'm going to find the uh, purple fire here select on this guy notice it also selects the video part up there and see this white bar that goes across and if I move my mouse over it see I changed the double arrows if I hold down my left mouse button over that I can drag down and lower the audio and by the way, you notice over here, it's already moved us over to controls and it's showing us when I move this white bar, how this little dot moves here. So if you wanted to and you knew the setting you wanted, like a minus 20 dB, you could come over here and you could either move this to that level or you could click and just type the number minus 20 and hit enter. And now we're at minus 20 dB. And how do you know what the right setting is? Well, just play your video and see what sounds right. Well, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to call that good. And at this point, we're all done. We've got our uh, spooky skeleton. He's been made larger. We got our fire. It's been kind of moved out of the way and made larger. Uh, we have also have our uh, background that I wanted from Bone Chillers 1. I'm sorry, Bone Chillers 2, even though this is a Bone Chiller 1 video. Uh, and so let's go ahead and just do our export. And again, uh, what you do here is you just go to export, you click on that and select to file. And then you just name the file that you're going to export. And so you just type in something and hit save, and it's going to start the export process. And when it does, it's going to pop you over to this tab, and you'll see the actual export going on. And by the way, again, always double check your preset up here because that's the format the video is going to export out in. Uh, that's uh, 1080p. If you wanted 720p or you know 2K or whatever, you could just pick those. But normally, I just leave mine on 1080p. And that's it for the video. So we've managed to mix together three different Atmos effects videos with black backgrounds and layer them all together to make something really kind of totally new. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until uh, next time, I'll talk to you later.